What's up everybody? Welcome back to 1-6 Fix. Today we're kicking off a new series, hopefully recurring, called Collection Outlook, um, where we kind of talk through certain Hot Toys lines that are upcoming, either for upcoming movies, TV shows, games, um, so we can so I can give you some insight into what I'm doing with my collection to really think through a strategy on how best to not get burned, not you know pre-order something and regret it later on. Um, because most of us, definitely in this category, don't have the luxury of ordering everything. Um, so we've got to really be selective. And so this series hopefully just gives you a little insight into what I'm doing with my collection to hopefully inform what you can do with your collection. Let's take a look today at the Spider-Man No Way Home line. And we're getting a bunch of figures from this line. So I think first we can start with the um, integrated suit. Now this falls into the category of figures that have already been announced or ones that we know we're already getting. So that'll be the first few that we discuss here. Now this one is probably the one I'm most excited for in terms of Tom Holland Spider-Man outfits that we know of so far. Obviously Marvel is no stranger to giving us fake outs in their trailers so there could be additional heat on the way but this one looks really fantastic. It's kind of got the best of all worlds. It's got the upgraded suit base and a little bit of the Iron Spider in terms of the gold and the spider legs on the back. There's also a deluxe version that has this diorama base. Now this is going to be a not popular take, but I'm not a big fan of this particular diorama base. I am a fan of them doing di diorama bases moving forward. Like I think that's a terrific trend. And we'll talk about another figure that has one that's a little bit more up my alley. This one just looks a little bit jumbled. Like I appreciate the character aspects and the things that they're peppering in here, but to me it just doesn't look that fantastic. I know, again, I know I'm in the minority. I know a lot of people are excited for this. Don't want to take anything away from that. In terms of what I'm doing for my collection, with this figure. Let's talk about each figure on a pre-order, wait, or pass basis. And every time I say pre-order, that's with the caveat that you find a retailer that does pre-orders with no shipping and no tax costs. Now, I won't list any here, but they are out there. So you got to just look around to find the best deals. Now, for this particular suit, I'm going to say wait. I've, I'm probably going to get it, but it is very similar to the upgraded suit that I already have. Um, so if there's, you know, an even more far-fetched or far-flung iteration of the costume that Tom Holland wears in this film, I might lean towards that. I'm likely only getting one Tom Holland Spider-Man suit, but again, we'll wait till I see the film, and this one could very, mu very much be added to the collection, but Got to see how it's utilized in the film. Next, we're going to discuss the black and gold suit. Now, this one just recently released in Hong Kong. So I'm bringing on my co-host from the She Said No podcast to give some additional analysis on this figure since, you know, I could theoretically pick it up now. <laughs> you have some thoughts on the theoretical part? Hi, I'm Gigi, his wife. <laughs> My wife. Okay, so what's the question? I'm sorry. We're just going to get your thoughts on this, and we're ranking it on three categories. So it's a little bit different than GG judges, but we are doing pre-order, pass, or wait, and those are the those are the rankings that we've got. So the black and gold suit. Now I think I know what GG is going to say because it's kind of the same thought that I have for the last figure we discussed, and then the next figure we discussed. I'll mention it when we get there. I don't want to get ahead of her, but <laughs> showing her pictures for the first time and just getting getting her thoughts. So what do you think of this black and gold suit without having any context of what it does in the in the film? What do you think of it? Um, I like it just because it's a little bit more neutral. I normally don't like, I know it's a very common pairing, but I don't really like the red and blue. I don't know. You don't like the classic red and blue I for Spider-Man? I don't. It's, I, I know. I know. I just, I like this more neutral. I feel like it's a little more chic. It's very intricate, the gloves or whatever those things are. The gauntlets, yeah. We, we're assuming Doctor Strange gives that to him, but not sure until okay. we see the movie. I was thinking more like Aztec. -y. Um, Aztec? Yeah, okay. Mayan. Okay. Could be some of the inspiration. I like it. I, oh. It looks like it can move a lot. Um, yeah, it should be pretty flexible. I think most of the Spider-Man suits are, but because they're made out of a rubber, there you know there's some damage to the suit if you go a little too crazy with the posing of it. Okay, so we're gonna judge this figure on pre-order, pass, 
or wait. Gigi, what do you say? Yeah. Okay, a full pass yeah. from Gigi. You already have like two Spider-Man. Okay, that, that's where I was, that's where I figured you would go. All right, from my perspective, this is a suit that I really like actually. I think it, it looks really sweet, the black portion, but there's some obvious reasons uh, why it's a wait. Number one, because it isn't the black suit that we want, right? We, we all want the symbiote suit, and this is not quite that. Like it looks cool with the gold and it's intricate, but it isn't that symbiote suit that we all want. The second is that there are going to be so many suits from this film that this one might, because it's coming out early, it might, you know, hit discount when the other figures get announced. So this would be a good one to wait to see how, if the Hong Kong retailers or even US retailers mark it down and you might be able to get a good deal on it. And for my collection, this one is going to be a wait. Likely not get, but definitely a wait. Okay, the next suit that we're going to talk about, and we're going to leave Gigi on for this last one, and then we're going to tell her to get the heck gone so I can finish the video. But this one is the battling version of the upgraded suit. Um, this is a movie promo edition. That means that it will be dropping soon. I've seen some uh, reports saying that it's a limited run in Hong Kong. Don't know if that's going to be the case in, in the U.S. or worldwide. Um, but Gigi, what do you think of this one? I know, I think I know exactly what you're going to say. Pass, pass, pass. <laughs> I can create those marks on there for you for the one you already have just let me have like two minutes with it no this is a definite pass okay so let me play devil's advocate here because i actually agree with you but look at the the waist there's different portions of the black on the waist <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, no, this one is, I think it's a cool concept. The battle damage isn't pronounced enough to not just look like a dirty version of what I already have. Now, there's one cool thing I would say about it is the diorama base, which is definitely going to mean that it's going to be an expensive figure once we know the U.S. Uh, price that hasn't been announced as of recording this by Sideshow. Now, this diorama is way more up my alley than the other one. It's like very clean, and I think it could go with a lot of figures, so it definitely adds some value. Um, and I do like the half matte head sculpt. Now the execution on these on this particular version and also the integrated suit. I don't love it. Like it, it's a cool concept. It doesn't look as sweet as I wish it would. That's a really big nitpick there. But yeah, I agree that this one is a pass. Cool concept. If they do a battle damage Spider-Man in the future, hopefully, you know, like maybe like a half, you split it down the middle, you know, half his face exposed, half the mask. That would be really cool. Maybe not film accurate, but this one is a definite pass. That being said, I really do like the diorama, and I like that they're trying something different, but it definitely feels like they are milking this franchise. We're going to finish off the video talking about five potential figures that are really intriguing to me. Now, not all of these have even been confirmed to be in the movie, but... We've got our suspicions that they are. The first, we've got a tie here for the Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. I'm most intrigued by the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man because that's the one that I grew up on, aside from the cartoon, and that suit is just so classic and so iconic to me. Now, I would hope that they'd bring him back in, in kind of the original trilogy suit, but maybe they got something new in store. Either way, that one speaks to me. I was never a big fan of the Andrew Garfield trilogy or attempted trilogy, so that would likely be be a pass, but maybe they bring him out in a really cool suit uh, to sell some figures, and in that case, it might be on my radar. Both would likely be weights, but that Tobey Maguire would be very tempting. Next, we've got Dr. Otto Octavius, or Dr. Octopus. Now, he's confirmed to be in the film. He looks to be somewhat of an ally to Spider-Man, so intrigued to see how that all plays out, but I love that iteration of the character in the original Spider-Man 2, and you know, something so intricate with his type of arms would be really awesome awesome and a really unique display piece. So I think that one would probably be a pre-order, but again, you got to see what the best price available is. At number three, we've got Electro. Now this one is so high on the list because number one, I hated the original iteration in the Amazing Spider-Man 2. I thought that was awful. I think most folks did, but I just love Jamie Foxx overall as an actor and a singer and just a great talent. And I love that design that there's kind of teasing in the trailers. So that one would definitely be a wait, but in terms of villains that are unique and we don't get a lot of black characters as well so that would just add on top of it and I think that one would be really really intriguing and very tempting in my book. In at number four we have Doctor Strange. Now this one is probably unlikely given that we're getting his own solo movie coming up here next year and there's probably going to be a few iterations of Doctor Strange in that and maybe in future films moving forward so given that there's so many characters that this this film is so jam-packed we probably won't get a Doctor Strange. That 
being said, he kind of shows up in the trailers in some unique outfits. So it'd be really intriguing if we got a unique one-off Doctor Strange. Um, and that, yeah, could be something really cool. That one would likely be a pass for me, given that I've got the Infinity War version. But, you know, another option for Hot Toys and another character they could milk. And the final character we're going to discuss today is the Goblin. The Green Goblin, specifically. Now, in the trailers, there's two different looks that are teased. So, again, options for Hot Toys to potentially release two separate figures or just one deluxe figure. I'd be most intrigued in his original amazing, excuse me, original Spider-Man outfit. Now that's just such an iconic look and Willem Dafoe is just such an awesome actor that if they gave it, gave us one with a head sculpt, that one would likely be a pre-order. It could be just such a unique figure with the glider. I know folks have the third party goblin figure that's been produced. People love it. That one looks phenomenal. So that one's got some real potential to be a really awesome figure and that's one that I really, really want to see. That concludes our first collection outlook and probably a part one for the Spider-Man No Way Home series because, you know, we're probably getting a lot of news here in the near future. So stay tuned. There might be enough uh, ground to cover for a second video, but thank you so much for tuning in. Really enjoyed making this one. So hoping to do one for the Hawkeye series and other Marvel properties and Star Wars properties moving forward, as well as Book of Boba Fett, since, you know, there's going to be tons of characters from that, no doubt, given Hot Toys track record with The Mandalorian. So if you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving it a like and subscribe to our channel, uh, we, had our, we had my co-host from the She Said No podcast on here earlier. We've got a few episodes out already and another one dropping here in the near future. So really appreciate you all listening and I'll catch you on the next one.